a match and a bell wrestling possibilities. Before we start, subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, share, leave a comment below. Think about this wrestling video. With that being said, it's time to rumble. A match and a belt possibilities. Ever since the event called the Greatest Warrior Rumble, we thought that everything would be all peachy boy. <sighs> we were wrong. First of all, let me talk about a 24-7 title belt. WWE, let me ask you this right now. What were you thinking? Really? <laughs> you brought a belt that can make people go crazy, be alert, have so much fun. The only person who's crazy enough to hold this belt is our truth. <laughs> and that's ain't no lie. You feel me? That's not no lie. It's like you could you can never forget who's winning most of the matches. Are you hearing me? Then, like on my last video, I talk about this belt, the cruiserweight title. <laughs> Many people who have won this belt and went on to defend it, you never think that when it comes down to it, who truly deserved it. Now, this belt known as the cruiserweight title was a belt that says otherwise. You hear me? Because like I said before in my last video, it started with an event called the Cruiserweight Classics. Where between two wrestlers, The first one was many wrestlers who came from New Japan Pro Wrestling, United Kingdom, and Lucha, Li and Lucha Libre Wrestling. When it comes down to it, when it comes to two fighters who wrestling for the belt, you know the best guy gonna win, especially J P E. No, T at that time. Because, well, we know he was ready. I mean, they gave the boy a trophy and the belt. And a medal. Then he evolved throughout those years of wrestling for the belt to the last person who won it was Carmelo, Carmelo Hayes. Ugh. I think that's the reason why they retired the belt. You hear me? But they can't they can't bring it back. I mean come on, think about it folks. It was called the cruiserweight title for a reason. And many wrestlers who have held this belt said otherwise. Cause why they were cruiserweight. But the most greatest thing of them all was where you get Aaron as a title shot at one event. The Royal Rumble. Stop that. I'm not lying. When WWE made this a, a great match of an event, you can say, wow. Because one... If you were to win that event, you can go to the grand stage at the mall. WrestleMania. Oh, WrestleMania. Vegas. Gambling. Whoo! The ultimate gamble. A wrestling event that says money. 
<laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. <laughs> Thinking about WrestleMania is kind of a big gamble. But the greatest Royal Rumble came down to two prizes. Thanks to this man here, Braun Strowman. Sorry about that. When it comes down to it, you're thinking, oh my God, what are they trying to prove here? What you trying to say? Does it concern the belt of the Greatest Warrior Rumble? Yes. Because he won. He won. He won the trophy. And was given to him. By representative of Saudi Arabia and Vince Man himself. <clears throat> I mean, come on, man. Think about it. The greatest Royal Rumble belt, okay? The greatest Royal Rumble belt <laughs> was also the second thing he was awarded. And he could have made this belt famous. Now you're thinking, oh, bro, that's a lie. No, 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 it's not a lie. Because one, it was called the Greatest Royal Rumble. That means you have to elevate to the next level. This belt would have made WWE more famous to, you know, trying to catch her. Everybody would be aiming for the belt, gunning for it. While Braun Strowman had it, yeah, it was like that. Are you hearing me on this? But a match with that belt, that match known as Rumble. Now you're wondering, how does this match work? Hmm, something you need. It's something you need that says you're a fighter, a brawler, a true blue wrestler. Because, well, in the Royal Rumble, you need technique. Strength, stamina, speed, and endurance. <laughs> you hear me? So, with this, the rumble, you don't need the same thing. Technique, strength, stamina, speed, and endurance. Fascinating. I mean, one, while the champion is the first wrestler to enter this event, you need four more wrestlers to enter this event. One more time, the champion. Must be one of the five wrestlers to enter this event. One. The point of this is you gotta toss your opponent over the ropes. Now, that's how a rumble a rumble really works. It's like a mini battle royal, but you know. A belt is on the line. <sighs> Cause see, when you toss your opponent over the ropes and both feet or body hit the floor, they eliminate it.
And when they're eliminated, when they eliminated, and the last person standing in that ring will be the new greatest Royal Rumble champion. Or still the remaining Greatest Royal Rumble champion based on the size of the champion that is. <laughs> oh yeah. So let me ask you this. Is it time to get ready to rumble? <laughs> With that being said, I'm going to Chris Black or Harris. Well, it comes to my wrestling style. I'm not just a powerhouse. <clears throat> I'm also a technician. And also, next year's... Royal Rumble should be really in England because, well, Royal, it has Royal in it, so somebody get that out there.